everyone. Thanks for tuning in to DNews Plus again today. Trace here. You probably already knew that. If you've never tuned into DNews Plus, I know this is a weird time to say it, but I just want to point out, if you are new, welcome. Hi. If you haven't watched all of the episodes in this series on monsters, go back. This is episode five of five on monsters. So check out all the first four. We talked about what monsters are, where they came from in mythology, and also in history and culture, and how zombies came about, super interesting, but also the diseases that can cause some of these disorders and these monsters to show up in real life. Things like rabies and Cotard syndrome, all sorts of really cool stuff. You would miss all that if you didn't go back and watch those episodes. Also, subscribe, please, so you can get all of the episodes that we've got here on DNews Plus. We do really hard, great work to try and bring this stuff to you. So thank you so much if you're a subscriber already. And if you aren't, it takes a button click. It's right there. It's really easy. Today, we're going to talk about how monsters will be in the future. What are we going to be afraid of? If you've been paying attention in this series, then you know how monsters came about. You know, fear, culture and society, disease. But the most common theme for monsters across the board is the unknown. We're afraid of the unknown. Disease is something we don't understand. Society has lots of fear and things that we don't get. The myth of monsters is perpetuated because we didn't know better at times, right? We were kids, or we didn't know what science was. We didn't know what was possible, so we didn't know what wasn't. We were afraid of the unknown. And now that we're an advanced society, we've got information at our fingertips. I can just type right here on this little doohickey and get all the information that I ever wanted in the whole world. That's how we make this show in a lot of cases. Does that mean that we don't have monsters anymore then? Right? You'd think that if we can just do a quick search, we know there's no monster over there in that wood. We just know. But of course, there are still monsters. We're still afraid of the unknown. We still have children. Children are still afraid of things. And fear is built in to humanity. In 2015, in Southwest University in China, a study was published in the Journal of Psychophysiology, where they showed neutral images to all of the participants. They showed them the neutral images during the day, and then they showed them during night. Everything was normal, all good, nice baseline, same effect, both daytime and nighttime. Then they showed fear-inducing images. They showed them during the day, and, you know, there's probably some fear inducement. That's what they're for. Showed them at night, and whoa, 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 whoa. They were scary. We'd be looking at the scary images at night. That's some science, by the way. There have been a lot of studies on our fear of the dark, and it comes down to our ancestors, the way we evolved. We, like the animals we were mentioning earlier, are a product of our environment. Nighttime was more dangerous than daytime. One of our major senses is taken away at night, and we don't have night vision, at least not very good. And this makes us more likely to be a meal for the predator, to bring it back to the predator-prey relationship. A recent study published in PLOS One found that you're 60% more likely to be attacked by a lion after 6 p.m., <laughs> Which means fear is justified when it comes to stuff like that. Fear is built into our genes. We will be afraid of the dark forever. It's part of the deal of being human. We will fear the unknown forever. Like that classic Robin Williams joke about Donald Rumsfeld. I don't know where. I don't know when. But something terrible is coming. You know, that is it. It's the fear that you're trying to get people to feel. We are afraid of monsters because of that. And we've gone over it a lot. You know, monsters come from the fear of the unknown. Darkness is an unknown. So are these giant animals are an unknown. We don't know what they're going to do. We don't know how they're going to behave. We may no longer believe in griffins, which turns out dinosaur bones, or cyclops, which was a mammoth skull, right? There's now science working on these things to try and figure them out. But there's still a lot of unknowns, a lot of monsters, a lot of things to be afraid of. A lot of our threats today are not personified in a vampire in uh, the mountains or a werewolf in the woods or whatever, or some predator of us. There are a lot more existential threats, which makes them harder to disprove. Things like earthquakes and aliens, right? We have no idea what's out there. We don't know when the next earthquake's coming. We don't know when the next volcano's coming. We don't know if an asteroid's gonna hit us. These are all monsters now. Hawking famously warned that we should be wary of aliens. And like the movie monsters of old, Dracula and Wolfman and the Mummy, 
aliens are not even just one thing, right? Aliens are just this huge unknown X. And we even have different species of them that we've created in this monster fantasy that we've built for ourselves. The greys, the little green men, reptilian aliens. And there are, of course, movie aliens and comic book aliens and TV show and science fiction aliens. There's so many aliens that you probably, you know, there's no, like, one alien. It's all these different things. Abduction stories have become a new monster tale. They haunt our woods. They steal our children. They come in the night. They come looking for something and destroying things and... It's just a weird existential threat, right? Because we don't understand it. It's an unknown, and we've created it. Another 21st century monster from the unknown that you've definitely heard of, artificial intelligence. It's a theme in modern day horror. It is essentially, as we see it here on D News Plus, it's a take on Frankenstein, right? A bigger picture, of course, is computers and technology, which is a huge unknown for a lot of people because they don't know how it works. So if you talk to a computer programmer about whether you should be afraid of AI or someone who's never tried to manage a computer in that way, they're gonna give you different ideas of whether that would be a monster. We also scare people with technology. Think about every local news story. You're being watched. There are dangerous people online and you don't know who they are doing dangerous things. There are viruses and identity theft and people are killing and people are buying and you know all sorts of stuff, all because of technology. Does that make technology a new monster? I don't know. I seem to have more questions in this episode than I do answers, but there are movies that kind of bring together all of this stuff. Things like The Terminator, 2001 A Space Odyssey, Blade Runner, amazing movie. The Matrix, fantastic movie. Ex Machina, I don't even know how to say that name, but I've seen that movie so many times, I love it. If you have not watched it, they did not pay us to say this, go watch it, it's so good. People are afraid of this kind of stuff coming true, and Elon Musk donated $10 million to fund the Future of Life program, which keeps humans safe from AI because he's so afraid of this threat. Musk said that AI is like summoning a demon. If that isn't fear, I don't know what it is. But again, all of this comes back to the same thing, which you know exactly what I'm about to say, the unknown. We know the technology and how it could work, but we don't know how it could work in the future if things continue to advance. Do we know robots won't turn on us? Do you know the smart fridge isn't watching you? <laughs> Do you know that your car won't get smart enough to drive you off the road? Of course you don't. And some of those monsters might seem silly, and some of them might not. And we may look back in 100 years and think, gosh, remember back in the early 21st century when people were afraid of AI? People were afraid of aliens? You never know. We may know more then. Now we treat monsters differently. They've become part of pop culture. The mysterious ape man in the forest used to be scary, now it's tongue in cheek. A dinosaur living in the lake in Scotland, that's not scary. We got a satellite pointed at that lake. It's a way to sell merchandise. The New Jersey Devil, hockey mascot. Monsters in your closet, children's movie. Halloween, a bunch of movies that people go to for fun. We've taken control of what used to scare us and we've taken away that power over us, but there are still things that we fear. There are still unknowns and there are still monsters that we humans will create for ourselves. Monsters, as a whole, are a human invention. There is no animal that is specifically just a monster, right? It's a predator-prey relationship. There's things that we don't understand, but there is nothing that's just purely a monster. The theme of this series is that monsters came from the unknown and they came from a variety of different reasons. And the way we want to wrap this up is that they probably will continue because there will always be things that we don't know, that we don't understand. Zika might be a monster right now, right? People are afraid of it. We don't understand it. Zika is now a monster. But what's the monster of tomorrow? Is it AI? Is it robots? Is it technology in general? Humans are fearful. There's always something to be afraid of. And that's going to change as we advance what the monster is. But Knowing that the monster is really us putting it on something that we don't get, I think that gives us a big advantage. Let us know down in the comments what your favorite monster is and the monster you were afraid of as a kid that now that you understand, you're not afraid of anymore. Make sure you subscribe so you get all of the episodes of D News Plus. We really are really excited that you all subscribe and that you all watch the show. We love that. Thank you so much. If you like it, share it with your friends, please. We're trying to get the word out and spread the show even farther. Also, if you think monsters are cool, you should check out Monster Week on Animal Planet. It's tonight at 8, 7 central on Animal Planet. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Trace Dominguez. You can find me on Twitter at Trace Dominguez. We'll see you next time.